Hello, I am Dr. Gautam Das, Director of Dorodhyadi Pain Clinic, Kolkata, India. As you know, musculoskeletal ultrasound is playing very important role in pain medicine as well as in regional anesthesia, like in many branches of medicine. To learn musculoskeletal ultrasound, you need a good quality ultrasound machine. You need a volunteer where you will be scanning. And of course, you need a good teacher. And arranging all those things and learning is not always an easy task. But here, we are coming up with some solutions. A simulator, Dorodia Sim Learn. So here, you don't need an ultrasound machine. You don't need a volunteer. And you don't need a teacher as well. So here, like you can see in the screen that this is a volunteer and this is an ultrasound screen. And your cursor, it will be converted into a ultrasound probe as soon as you will be taking this cursor over this grid. Like I'm taking this cursor over this grid and you see now my cursor has converted into an ultrasound probe. And you see, as I'm moving my probe, you know, the pictures are changing, you know, as if you are scanning it, you know, live over the volunteer. So this is in the, you know, the long axis scanning. You can see the aspect marker is towards the proximal side. But if you wish to scan in the short axis, you click over the short axis and you see now the probe has been converted into a short axis and you can go on scanning. You see, I'm moving it and your pictures are moving. So that way it simulates a live scanning. But at the same time, when like in the ultrasound machine, we are having the different features, like, you know, we are having the features of the annotation. We are having the features of the uh, orientation. Like here in this picture, I have made it freezed. So like in dynamic scanning, you can any times you can over the grid, you can click left click and the image will be freezed. Like here, I have freezed the image and I can change the orientation from, you know, like in a probe, you can see the orientation. You see, there is a dot which is telling you orientation on which side that means aspect marker in which side you can increase the gain or you can decrease the gain. You can increase the depth, decrease the depth or increase the depth. You can put some annotations like, uh, you know, you can you know do some marking and that will be helpful for learning and teaching purpose. You can unfreeze it again and you can again, when we are proving, putting the probe, you'll be again uh, coming like a live scanning. Not only that, the scanning and uh, identifying the different structures is also very important for learning purpose. So here we are having that solution too. So as soon as you are putting it over the label, you see there are different points where the labeling has been done. Like if I'm putting it here, you see the labeling is done. If I'm putting it here, so there is labeling. So in that way, you can see the labeling of the different structures and you can again go ahead and uh, you can make the labeling off and you yourself try to understand which structure is what. Same way, sometimes we need to change the angle. Like in the lumbar spine scanning, the angle is very important. Like here, if I'm putting it, clicking over the angle, so in these areas, I'll be able to change the angle. So here you see, I'm changing the angle towards the uh, spine midline, or it is tilting it away from the midline. So in that way, you can uh, change the angle and um, uh, you can call it as a you know tilting or toggling. It, it has also some Doppler effect as well. Like the areas where some important arteries and vessels are there. So there is some Doppler effect. Like if, if I'm clicking it here, so there will be, you see, some blinking in the forum. And you can see that there is an artery which is blinking, which is close to the uh, exiting nerve root. So in that way, there are different modules. This is the lumbar module. So in that way, we are having the different other modules like here. If I'm going to the elbow, shoulder, 
So everything has the all the different modules in the uh, shoulder, anterior shoulder, posterior shoulder, in the elbow, anterior, lateral, posterior, medial. So let us go to the anterior shoulder. So here, if I'm coming to the anterior shoulder, again, it's similar. Like here, we are having the long axis scanning. So if I'm putting it, you see, I'm moving it and uh, the cheek pictures is, is also changing. When you're starting it first time, it might be taking some time to load the different image. You can understand there are huge number of image which has been uploaded and it takes some time uh, for the initial uh, scanning. Um, after the images are loaded, then everything will be become fast. So um, here it was a long axis scanning. The short axis scanning also is there. So you can again change it and you'll be getting all those things. The same way, the labeling features and other features are also there. So in that way, we have covered, you know, almost all the modules, you know, starting from the face to the neck, to the uh, cervical spine, uh, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand, lumbar spine, thoracic spine, foot, knee, hip, everything is there, whatever is there in the musculoskeletal ultrasound. So this software, Dorodia SimLearn software, is going to change the learning of musculoskeletal ultrasound. Come and join and see how easy it is to learn musculoskeletal ultrasound.